All of us here thank you for everything you've done. It's the best we could do. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. troubling you my friend I would reach the amazing aquacura get yours now while supplies last well hello there smooth skin step right up have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing aquacura Why? Have you heard otherwise? I changed the name to help ghouls realize its amazing properties. And well, just between us, I've also added a few secret ingredients to enhance the flavor of the originals. So it's not exactly the same, it's better. Care to procure a bottle? A free sample, you say? Hmm. Well, I normally don't do this. But for you, for this one time only, a very special VIP promotional offer. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding. We have a new winner in our daily Aquacura sweepstakes. Here you go, sir, your free bottle. Step right up in the next five minutes and get your very own bottle of the amazing Aquacura at half price. Ladies and gentlemen, half price.
Do people call you clumsy? The things just seem to slip out of your hands. Is it? Good to see you. And how can we help you today? He's not my type. Doug Barrows is friendly with him, though. Why don't you ask him? Poor girl. I didn't think she'd make it through the first night she was brought in here. Dr. Burrows has done everything in his power to keep her alive. The doctor is convinced that the key to curing our appearance is locked within the human body. When Riley was brought in here, he saw a chance to put that theory to the test. First and foremost on Dr. Barrow's mind is her health and well-being, I can assure you of that. So far, none of his conclusions are finalized, but the tests he's running are coming up quite positive. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. Well, some of the ghouls in Underworld object to what the doctor is doing. They think ghouls are ghouls, and humans are humans. Like we were meant to be this way. Some have even threatened the doctor. I'm afraid one day something might happen to him. Well, we're trying not to get too excited. Not only because we want to keep it quiet, but also because the experiments look so promising. For now, just please try and keep what I've told you quiet. No telling what reaction this could have if it got out. Bye. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's rangers will show up soon and take her home. Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. Oh, very well. I'll do what I can. I just hope her body can withstand the strain. Humans are so fragile. been out.
Right. Can't remember what I was doing. Wait! Oh, shit! My men! My team! What happened to them? That's not the way I do things. Do you have any idea what it would do to my reputation if word got around that Riley of Riley's Rangers was laid up in a hospital bed? That's okay, kid. Don't sweat it. The Wasteland's a big place. We're guns for hire. The best merc group in the capital wasteland. If you need something done in there, you seek us out. We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the downtown ruins and got jumped by a super mutant ambush party. Usually it isn't a problem, but this group was bigger than usual. We fought our way into our Lady of Hope hospital, hoping to find cover. You got it. More of the ugly bastards just kept coming. We fought our way to the roof and found a way across to the Statesman Hotel next door. The super mutants seemed driven, like they smelled blood. They kept following us. Once in the hotel, the only way to go was up. Very bad move, but we had no choice. On the way, we lost Theo, one of my guys. We were unable to get the ammo case off of his body as we were pushed onwards. So, guns almost dry, we hit the roof of the Statesman. Actually, we did lay down a bunch of countermeasures. I don't know how many of them have already gone off, though. When I slipped out with my stealth boy, I think I almost tripped one or two of them. Damn near didn't make it out of there at all, come to think of it. Get the Rangers home. Please. That's all I want. I don't care how you do it. Whew. I was holding my breath on that one, I think. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. All I ask is that you hurry. I don't know how much longer they will be able to survive up there. I also recommend you try and find the body of Theo, one of my men. He was carrying our main ammo supply. Here, let me punch the ammo box code and some better directions into your pit boy there. We have a headquarters not far from here. If you can make it there, you're welcome to anything you need inside. Just punch in Riley0247 at the gate. We have ammo, supplies, you name it. If I wasn't asking for your help, I'd tell you to stay away. It's thick with super mutants. I don't know why. Butcher, our team medic, has always suspected something's in the area they are looking for or being attracted to. The only place worse I can think of is the mall. Not much, I'm afraid. Oh, wait. The hospital may have some supplies that will help you. We saw some storerooms on the way to the roof, but didn't have time to raid them. Your best bet is to stay with the Metro Tunnels. Head north from here to Metro Central. Then look for the tunnels to the DuPont Circle Station. Exit from the DuPont Circle Station into what we call the Dry Sewers, and eventually you'll wind up in Our Lady of Hope Hospital. Okay, go ahead. We were mapping the Vernon Square... There's five of us. Oh wait, four now. I almost forgot about Theo. Poor bastard. Besides myself, of course, we have Brick, our heavy weapon specialist, Butcher, our medic, and Donovan, our tech. All of them have been with me for years. I trust any of them with my life. We lost him on one of the stairwells on the second floor of the Statesman Hotel. He almost made it but one of the muties hit us with a frag grenade. Blew him apart. If you can get to his ammo crate, there's a ton of rounds inside. 
Bring as many as you can to the Rangers. Before I left, I gave them an order to keep broadcasting for help over their radio. Hopefully, when you get near their location, you'll pick it up. Okay. Watch yourself. Those ruins are badass. Losing sword that just won't go away.
mission's over! Over! <laughs> <laughs> 